Hello, I am Tsinu Otunuga. This message is for those who are out there to bully innocent people. This message is for those who are filled with hate. Those who enjoy intimidating other people. Let me start by using myself as an example. Like I said in my previous message, for those who are experiencing some kind of abuse or intimidation or bullying. I would say that two girls in secondary school who in fact did intimidate me never, never believed that I would fight back and win. Whenever you're being faced by a bully, the bully might have been in that situation once, or that bully might have been abused before, or that bully is hiding a fear somewhere. Or that bully might be a sad person or just someone who is filled, of, filled with hate. That bully would never believe you could fight back. The minute you fight back, the bully will be afraid of you. This message is for you who enjoys bullying others. Be very careful what you dish out because it can fall back on you. Be careful how you make someone else feel. Be careful who will you hurt. There is no point in hating one another. There is no point in being jealous of someone who is better than you. There is no point in you killing other people's joy. Why not focus on developing yourself to be a better person so that you will be able to inspire lost souls. You will be able to inspire some people whose morale has been reduced. Try not to hurt innocent people. You see, sometimes someone might just find himself or herself in an uncontrollable situation. And when that person is pushed to the wall and fight back, oh, the bully will be very afraid. Because the person who fights back unexpectedly might do more damage. Anger is very bad. And that is why it is wrong for you to force a monster out of an innocent person. Be very careful who you hurt. You know one thing? Shake hands and let there be love. Life is for living. Life is to love and share. Let us learn to live in one accord. I am Tinu Odenuga. It is well. Bye-bye.